TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 26th of January. And we're looking at the Dow down 50 at 32,700. What I say to subscribers to my opening call, we can expect some give back of the last hour's gain yesterday. It's really if the Dow holds a plus 70s or more after uh, 145, <clears throat> that would all go well for the end of the day. But right now, I think that we're looking at a, a nice digestive move after a fabulous turnaround yesterday, some of it was purely technically oriented. So we've got the Dow that was up quite sharply. It hit 33,921. I'd say the 33,900 should be strong resistance, at least in the short term. Let's see what the S&P is doing right now. The S&P is, is up uh, nine down from the high of the day. It made a leg. I'm calling this for the moment the leg F. There's a chance this could be an R. Uh, maybe there's an alternative count. Uh, because the MACD is good, stochastics at 89%. So I'm going to put in, putting in here an F, peak F, a leg F slash B. And I'll do an assessment at the end of the day whether this is a continuation pattern or we're coming back to test the 39.93, 200 period moving average, the QQQ. Here we go. This is the NDX 100. Same thing, leg F, maybe an F slash B. I'll just put an F for the moment because we're running out of time before I run out of the, the update. Um, Time sequence. So now we're looking at nice pattern because it's gone above the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone with only two days to go today and tomorrow before we get Friday wrap up for the weekly chart. Look at the IWM. <clears throat> Had a pop up to that leg D and now it's pulled back. It's down 27 cents at 187.19. I'm watching this one closely because the weekly chart has already been out of the range of. Uh, of the resistance level, and that's going to be important. Hey, wait a minute. We've got to go to gold because gold is pulling back at $10 at 1932. I've got it as a, a leg G slash C. Most importantly, look, the dollar has come within 20 cents of the previous low of 101.30 back in June of 22, up to the high of September. Got this left side, right side price time match almost to the penny. We're going to see if the dollar is able to even rally a tad off here. Looking at crude oil, still holding quite nicely. It's up a dollar at uh, 81. And we'll talk about bonds as soon as I return for the Tiger Technicians Hour, because bonds, I think, are stuck in a range. And I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Hope to see you. We've got great programming here for the rest of the day. Tommy starts us off 